Hi guys, welcome back. This is now issue 88 of Bill Drain Star Wars R2D2. So, uh, in this issue we're actually going to be assembling the bottom panel with the uh, power switch and the uh, charge port. Now it's quite interesting really because I know that the, this we're going to have to buy the batteries for this and they're 18650s, um, but they are not like the Vape batteries, they're, they're different. Um, however, I thought we had to charge them individually and then pop them in, but I think they're going to actually be fixed into. Uh, so the eight, I think it's going to take four 18650 batteries. They're going to fit into a power pack that will be built into the model, and then uh, by the looks of it, there's actually going to be a charging adapter um, that we can plug in through the bottom, which will charge the batteries internally. So um, we won't have to take all those big batteries out. Although they will be removable, I believe, because there is a battery door, um, so you could take them out and charge them independently on a proper charger if you're a vapor. Um, but I think that's um, that's quite good. So yeah. Uh, anyway, enough now. So I've got to do. Let's crack on, check off the parts, and get building. Okay, so here we are. Here's all the parts. Again, I'll open this up. We we'll go through everything. Oh, we can get a new screwdriver in this one. It's not that I uh, use them because I've got a uh, fantastic Oreo. Uh, we get some screws in this issue as well. So, we open these up. Battery door. Uh, we've got some screws there which I'll open in a moment, and then in here we've got some other little bits and bobs. We've got a screwdriver which is a really small one, so there must be a reason that we've got this. Maybe we're going to get somewhere more difficult, difficult to reach. Okay, we've got a. Uh, a switch with a very nice, uh, good quality cable on there. I must admit, that's all, all very good. Uh, that is the charge port. So let me have a look at the technical names for these. So yeah, we've got the bottom panel. We've got the access panel. We've got the flexible plate, which is this part here. Yeah, as I say, we've got the charging socket. And we've got the main switch, a short screwdriver, and a top hat washer. Plastic, and then we've got various fixing screws, um, which I won't go through because it's the same drill. They're all mixed, um, and then it's just going to be a case of finding them and measuring them as and when we need them uh, throughout the build. So the first thing we want us to do is we need to attach the flexible plate to the access cover. Which is these two parts here. We want three four mil flanged screws, and I believe they're the ones that they have sent in this machine. They could be the ones we've already got. I know they're a bit shorter, so let me just measure them and check that they're on the right wavelength. Yeah. So you get four flange, four mil 
four four mil flange screws in this packet in this issue, and we're going to need them to start with. Well, actually, we need three, but they've obviously sent four. Okay, so it doesn't say we're using the screwdriver at the moment. It's showing them using the original one, so I'm just going to carry on with this one for the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the flexible plate over this post here. And then we're going to place this top hat washer over the post. Like so. And then we're going to put one of those flange screws into the top. Like that. And then moves, that moves back and forwards. I can see what's coming here. Okay. Okay, next we're going to yeah, take this part here, and you notice you've got two screws, screw holes just on that edge there, where it conveniently matches up with the two screw holes on the flexible plate. So we're going to line that up, and then put the other two flange screws through. As I said, don't, you don't have to go mad on this, just enough to keep it in place. I think yeah, they will tie up a bit more, but if you get to a stage where it's starting to dent the plastic, then you've gone too far. So that, I'm happy with that. There we go, and then there's our access panel. The next step is to get two 6mm self tapping screws. So I'm going to check this bag first. I think we must have been supplied. Yeah. That's right. So two of the we need two of those screws. Okay. And then we're gonna need the plugs. We need the charging socket and the main switch. The first thing we're going to do is take the charging socket and we're going to place that into the relevant hole, which is this, this one here. And you can tell because <coughs> of the shape, <coughs> see it's got like a, a semicircle one side and a flat edge the other. So we're going to fit that in from the top here. Like so. And then we're going to put the two screws through there to keep that secure. and tight but that's not going anywhere. So there we go, that's the uh, charge socket installed. 
The next thing he wants us to do is unravel the uh, main switch. And again, I'm going to keep these uh, these cable tidies just in case later on we need to do some cable management. And what we're going to do for this one is turn this round and we're going to pop the socket through from the outside in. Okay. The on position, which is the one, is going to be closer to this edge. I don't think it's going to make any difference whatsoever which way that goes, but this is the way it shows in the magazine in the pictures, so I'm going to go with that. So all we're going to do is line that up on towards this flat part, and then we're just going to push that in, and it snaps into place. And there we have it. That is not going anywhere. It doesn't need a screw because that's in really tight. And next, we want to take two 9mm screws, which we get in this issue. And I'm just going to double check that. Yes. Now, again, they've got threads on the end. But they're smooth nearer the top. And they come in this issue. And they're 9mm. And what we're going to do with these. is the access hatch here. You've got the two screw holes here. We're going to screw them in. Brilliant. And then what happens is you screw it in and then it will drop through and then they're in there now. You can't remove them unless you unscrew it all the way. So that's just so you don't lose the screws when you're accessing the hatch. Okay, so that's one in. I'm just going to put the other one in. And then it drops through. There we go. And then they're loose. But they won't fall out. Okay, and then that is that assembly complete. So that was the bottom panel. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so yeah, until next week, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support. If you wish to buy me a coffee, there is a link in the description below. Um, so yeah, until next week, take care. See you later.